Hello there, how is it going? I basically figured out I should talk more. <laughs> we should improve the video quality and the hair quality and all that sort of stuff. But I can uh, tell you about many things. Because I double as a computer scientist and as a spiritual leader. So I really can talk about a lot of stuff if you want me to. And I really should get some kind of coiffeur because they used to boycott me and that was not so good. Actually, uh, close to New Year's Eve, like two weeks ago, I had an ex-hair stylist in my place. She was crazy as hell. And she left like 15 minutes to 12. That's how crazy hairstylists are. Here's one topic I wanted to talk about quickly. Not computer related, but life related. The topic is um, past lives. Some people go on and on about past lives. I know one guy who said he was a black guy in a past life. And he proved this by putting a poo on his face. It's really a guy I know. He's special. And I kind of don't believe this story. It smells like... It literally smells like crap like bullshit cover your face in poo because you were a black guy in an earlier life the same guy claims he was a jew he's a jew and he's a descendant of important people just to push his agenda i don't believe any of this here's the point if you had a past life if you were you were you was a waiter you were is the right burning right you were a waiter in honolulu in a past life and now you have a new life and you, the weird thing is that normally people don't know about their past lives, right? They have to go through some special treatment, to some seance, to find out about their past lives. And they're like, oh yeah, I was this and that person. But are you that person? You grew up as a child, right? And like every child, you enjoyed everything. You were completely amazed at your first kiss, at your first playground, at your first anything. That's what the child is. Everything is the first time. They're completely amazed. They're a new person, right? They're not the same person that lived some earlier life. And if the child turns 20 and then they go to some uh, person who helps them remember their past life and suddenly they're like, oh, I lived before. Does that make any sense? Where do the memories go of these persons of the past lives? The way I see it, if you live on after some life, you go to heaven, to another place where you can live on, your person lives on there. But you don't forget any everything you lived. So if somebody says they have a past life and they usually don't remember it, they are not that person. If you delete all the memories of a person, that is not the same person, is it? So maybe you have no past lives. I tend to think I have no past lives. I thought about this and it kind of makes no sense really. Maybe he had a past life as Jesus, but that doesn't make any sense because he's in heaven reigning. <laughs> you know, he gives people inspiration, that's what he does in heaven. And he cries about his church, I think. I'm not Jesus, I may be similar, but I'm not that person because that person is somewhere else and I started a new life. I was young and I discovered pianos and stuff. I was really amazed at my first piano, my first computer. Maybe you don't have past lives, but you don't have you have a life right now and you can use it. Let's just do that.